Every situation you're every situation that is brought to your attention. Ah, good morning, folks. Oh, you're not gonna say good morning, screaming? That's okay. Ooh, today, 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 we're going to visit visit some edio. Visit lots of edio today. Match visit to edio. And uh, remember, if you guys haven't already, click the like button and subscribe to the channel because we're doing lots of awesome things here. Things are moving really quickly. We're moving forward fast, so you gotta make sure you keep up. And I gotta get this thing down to my snake room figured out. Come on, let's go. Snake room, look at my little setup here. So I had this all set up last night for filming my little monologue for Triple B. I'm editing my Triple B episode over here right now. The reason I put up this big blanket is because I was getting this echo bounce back on the last episode I did. So I thought that if I hang up a blanket, maybe it'll help with the sound and it'll keep it sounding a little tighter and not so echoey, but I don't wanna put a blanket up there every time I'm gonna do an episode. So we'll have to figure something out besides that. But for now, the blanket, the blanket, the sheet is working. Before we get any of that done, I also want to finally get my sink set up. I've got my awesome sink here, but it's not set up because the drain for the other sink is way too high. There is room for it to be dropped down. I just got to cut out the drywall and get the, get it so we can finally have a sink in here so I can stop running outside to use my garden hose. That's a project for today, but before we tackle that, snakes need care, snakes need care. This is what I do every morning. You might not see it on the vlog every morning, you might not see it ever every morning, but every morning I come down here, go through each snake one by one, make sure everybody's clean, make sure everybody's got fresh water and all that kind of stuff. And that's my morning routine. So let's do it. So I think what I'll do this morning is show you every snake that needs to be cleaned and that way you get an idea of how many snakes need attention on a daily basis. This is Sophie and she is actually the girl that laid the very first clutch here at Triple B. And she didn't go right back on food so she's gonna take the season off and she's not gonna breed the season. We're just gonna work on getting her back up to a healthy weight. This is Charlotte. Charlotte is a GHI humblebee and she's been a bit of a slow grower, so probably not gonna breed her this season, unfortunately, because she would be awesome. But again, she's not quite ready. At one point, she had me wondering if she was a male, <laughs> just because of how slow she was growing, but uh, double-checked her, she's, she's a female, so. All right, Charlotte, take your time. Here's Maya. She was our second ball python here at Triple B, uh, banana ball python, and she's going to hopefully be ready to go this season. She looks like she's ready to go this season, so I think she's gonna go. And we'll put her with the king and hopefully get some super banana head pie. This little dude is actually the newest snake here. He's a motley orange glow. Beautiful beautiful yeah. snake but we don't have a name for him yet believe it or not he's the only snake here that doesn't actually have a name yet so if you guys want to help me come up with something again he's a motley orange glow reticulated python so if you guys have any ideas i am open to them you got a pen you like yes. nice are you drawing on the paper um, yes. oh good job uh, huh? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is one of our scrub pythons, Annie. And gotta love a snake that has a nice full shed, even if she just musked on me a little bit. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh man, Eli. Yeah, there she is. She's getting bigger. <laughs> and she's not any less stinky when she musks, so. Hey. Gotta watch for that end of tail stuck shed. You don't want that to stay on there because it's not a good thing. Whoa. Ah. All kinds of snakes shedding out today, including our boy Elvis here. Elvis, of course, is super dwarf, reticulated mommy. python, and he is Hi, mommy. freshly shed. Hi. Check out that Enchi Pass Hat Sunset. Is that a freaking killer snake or what? 
Holy crap. Yes, I think he's gonna prove. Okay, so got a little bit of a dilemma, more of a situation with the sink. Every situation that you encounter in life, you always have options, okay? Always have options. Never forget that. Here's the deal. The shutoff valves are currently situated in the wall above the sink. The drain is currently too high because the drain for the sink is way down here. The quick and easy fix is gonna be to put this drain up on a little stilt wall and it'll get it above those shutoff valves. It'll kind of look nice up here too. When I'm standing, this will put it just below my chest, which for me, I think that might be good. And that means I don't have to tear out any drywall. I have to lift this sink up because that drain needs to have fall in it still. So I can't drop it down all the way to the bottom of the sink with this thing sitting on the ground. So the sink has to come up. I have to build a still wall for it regardless. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we got both sides of the stilts framed up. All I gotta do now is throw some plywood on here to give it a little bit of shear protection so it won't go bending. Even though it's pretty solid, it's pretty small. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra strength by putting a piece of plywood on here. That'll make it look a little nicer too. And then when I have a 100 pound retake in that sink and I'm washing it off, I don't have to worry about it collapsing on me, so. <laughs> What do you guys think? I mean, it's a good height for me to lean. Like, this is actually the perfect height for me to lean. I don't have to move any of the plumbing behind the wall. I just gotta put the faucet in and attach the drain. And I think this is good. This is like perfect. I don't have to be bending over to clean the snakes and stuff or anything I got in here. I just basically, I'm standing up at a perfect height for me. This is, I think this is gonna be perfect. What do you guys think? What would you do? Would you put it up high like this? Or would you drop it down low? Faucet is in. That's gonna be nice. Still gotta attach the drain so we can't turn them on yet, but man, it's gonna be a thing of beauty when we do. All right, folks, we're really close to achieving our goals, which is having the sink in. We just gotta connect this drain to that drain, and we'll be there. Just went to the hardware store, got all the parts. Bam, should be in like Flynn. All we need is for this to go on here. Then we're probably gonna have to slice that off. And then this will slide on over this. And that'll get over to this. I'll have to scoot this thing this way, which is fine. That's gonna go on there. That's gonna come up here and slide up. We have to slide up and then it's gonna work and it's all gonna be happy. And yes, we're good to go. It's gonna work. First things first. Yeah. And that is cut this pipe back. Oh, it's stinky under there. Oh, everything gonna be good here? Everything gonna be gravy? I hope so, because this is now turning back. Ow! Look at that gaping hole. I'm gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> Dude, look, look at the job they did here before. What a piece of crap. I'm gonna have to patch that up. Jeez. Mm -hmm. 